by the time I was 19, you know, I was I was broke. While you may blame inflation for your poor financial condition, analyzing some key facts says otherwise. Most people are broke not because of low wages or bad luck. They are broke simply because of their own destructive habits, the habits that do not let them succeed. And while being broke is not something to be ashamed of, it is also not a positive thing. However, if you are broke right now, this video might help you. It aims to discuss the factors contributing to a well, not so ideal financial situation. Would you call being broke in your language? One, your job. The first reason you might be broke may be your job. While you may think that your job is the only thing that can provide for you, it is not the complete truth. Do not ever accept a job if it has no future and cannot provide you with the life you desire. It may be simple to get work like that and it may feel suitable for a short period. But in a few years, you'll be sorry and changing your mind will be more complex and costly. Consider what you're doing right now. Consider what your life will be like in 10 or 20 years if you stay in that work. If you don't want to be in that picture, it's time to change careers. 2. Choosing the wrong partner Your partner is vital for you at every step in life. There is no prospect of financial success if you marry someone with radically different economic principles than you. You'll squander time and energy attempting to persuade each other of the importance of your spending and investment priorities. If the situation worsens, you'll also have to spend significant money on marriage counseling or divorce court. If you and your spouse are at odds, your spending will spiral out of hand and your saving strategy will be ignored. You will also find it challenging to agree on a financial plan for the future. Avoid this by discussing money before getting married. And suppose you were already married and unsatisfied with your partner. In that case, your first and foremost priority should be to be on the same page. 3. Poor Planning Life is full of unexpected bills, from changing a flat tire to paying for an emergency room visit. However, suppose you do not have an emergency fund. In that case, you may be compelled to drain your bank accounts to cover unforeseen bills. If you have an emergency, you may even need to borrow money to cover the costs, including interest and lending fees. The easy way out of these problems is, well, you guessed it, making a budget. You must make it whether you like it or not. In addition to the budget, you must also devise a saving strategy. The best part is you can do it easily all by yourself. Another typical issue under the same umbrella is disorganized finances, which can cost you significantly in the long run. Overdraft or bounce check fees are readily incurred if you lose track of your bank account balances. Bill due dates that are mixed up can result in late fees or missing payments. You may even be charged monthly fees for checking accounts you forgot about or don't need. In light of all this potential chaos, it is a dire need to get your finances in order before it's too late. For this, too, you don't necessarily need to hire a financial planner. Your finances don't have to be perfect, and you can always have them checked by an expert, just in case. 4. Extravagant Spending Simple math is the most likely reason you'll go bankrupt. You're spending all of your earnings or maybe more. This is very common today. A variety of poor financial decisions could have landed you in this situation. Perhaps you're buying unneeded items or overspending to keep up with pals because you're afraid of missing out. Alternatively, maybe you frequently make impulsive purchases rather than preparing and saving for them. If you don't want to be broke, keep track of your spending. You may notice a couple of things that will happen due to this. First and foremost, your spending will magically reduce. That's what occurs when you start paying attention and watching it. You can't explain why, but I assure you it will happen. You'll next discover how much it costs to live, something you can't possibly know if you don't check your expenditures. So, take a step back to gain a big picture view of your cash flow and calculate the precise amount you receive after taxes from each paycheck. Examine your expenses to discover if you're overspending and where you may cut back. Five or in your treatment. And last but not least, we have human treatment. 
Rather than worrying about yourself first, the most straightforward approach to getting people on your side is to assist them in getting what they desire. Because of this, lovely people have more money. Do this and you will succeed in all walks of your life. Everything, including your financial condition, will improve drastically. Dale Carnegie demonstrated this in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. However, the converse of this is also true. The easiest way to get people lined up to take you down is to mistreat them. Treat everyone around you the way you would want to be treated. It's not called the gold rule for nothing. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.